Olympic Villa uh, and the venues, uh, everything is, is ready. Um, the last figure I saw, it's like 98% there, mainly uh, finishing and cleaning. Uh, so this is okay. Uh, there are still some work in the infrastructure. Uh, because the, big, the biggest legacy uh, of this uh, Olympics, besides the village itself, because this is going to uh, revert to uh, new apartments uh, and address one of the problems of Rio, which is the lack of space uh, and uh, the lack uh, of uh, 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 accommodation for people. So it's going to be very positive. But besides that, the main legacy will be uh, to uh, transportation, to improve uh, traffic in Rio that can be very chaotic. So we are uh, taking the opportunity of the Olympics to improve that, to expand the uh, underground, uh, the Rio underground metro, uh, to uh, build uh, new uh, lines, uh, quick lines for buses, uh, and to build, uh, which is uh, almost finished, I saw it in, in January when I was in, on holidays in Rio, to build a light vehicle uh, a, a, on, on track that will uh, transport people from the airport to the center of the city. Um, so I hope this is going to be a big success.